All right, guys, got an early start this morning here before sunrise. Uh, I'm gonna try to catch some flatheads. I'm gonna try to catch some blues. I'm gonna try to catch some catfish. We got a storm front coming in. <clears throat> Be coming in mid morning, so don't know if we're gonna get run off the water or not. But it's very warm this morning. Nice spring morning. It's about 65 degrees. But after this front comes through, we're gonna have lows in the upper 20s and highs in the 50s. So I'm gonna get them all to getting's good. Let's see what kind of magic that we got us some gizzard shed folks. We got us some gizzards. Yeah guys, we're using all gizzard shed today. I've got a bunch left over from some guide trips that I've done and uh I'm gonna put them to use. Yeah here, pull a few of these out. Not big ones, kind of small ones. We're gonna make some into big baits, some into small baits. What I mean by making them into big baits. I cut the tail off do this little I call it a reverse fillet I'll do it again you guys can see how I hook them here in a second cut that up the back crack that backbone do one more we'll make these small baits into big scent producing modules and we'll cut a couple of these into just a couple of small baits I call them feeler baits just uh, feel around and see what's out here all right, so we got this fillet. I say fillet. It's a cut open. It's half filleted. I call it the Polish fillet after Alan Kolwicki, who would do the Polish victory lap. We'd go around the track backwards, and this one's filleted up from the back, which is backwards. What you would normally fillet a fish. For any of y'all who don't know who Alan Kolwicki is, do a little Google. I'm just gonna get these fan casts out along the bank here. Let's see what we can get. All right, guys, I think we got a fish going on pinky. We got here. Boom, we are hooked up. That fish just went to the other side of the boat and probably across the anchor rope. It's still hooked up. It's up on top of the water. We got, it's bad about our setup today. We got current going that way. We got wind going this way. I hate anchoring in this stuff, but you gotta do what you gotta do. This one came off the bank and I think it's tail wrapped or side wrapped or something. It's not as big as it looks. Still a good fish though. There it is. There he is. Don't flip, don't flip. <sighs> Summer, 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 summer. Good fish. Solid fish to start today. That's yeah, nice blue. Maybe eight or nine pounds. Good one. Yeah. Didn't bag alive. That piece of shad just tore up. We'll put a fresh one on there. Just a Santee rig. Got one of these sinkers on it. Right up here on the trees. See if we can get another one. All right, guys, there's the first fish. Uh, got it clicked off. Uh, that one was right up on the bank. Um, I, I've got lines scattered from the river channel up onto the bank. Uh, the stuff shallow up on the bank has been producing recently. So I uh, got half the lines out there, half the lines in the deeper water. So uh, there's one in the boat. Uh, this is springtime, warm weather, fish will move shallow it's a time to catch them either in creek shallow up on the bank shallow uh, why are they doing it is it spawning finding spawning cavities uh, is it because the bluegill and the crappie are moving up to spawn and so are the bass who knows but we got 61 degree water temperature today so uh, this is the time this is the time to catch those fish up on the bank so you guys that are fishing on the bank don't be throwing past some of the fish some of them may be right in front of you guys i think we may have a Fish swimming off this bottom bait here. Yep, he's there. He's there. This one, river channel fish. Uh, that last one came right off of the bank. This one in the river channel. 
side. A little magic going on all over the place. Summer, summer, it's kind of wrapped up. Good fish, hey. Strong fish. I don't think it's a giant. And he's burying the rod. Let's see if we can bag a grit. Big male. Big male. Simmer, 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 simmer. Don't kick, don't thrash. We're gonna make the teens. Oh yeah, 14. Heck yeah. We'll take him. Popping them blues, baby. Nice blue. Yes, sir. Him back a lot. Oh, splash me. Number two in the boat, that one opposite side of the boat, deeper water over in the river channel. So, uh, and that was in what's on a Carolina rig on the bottom. So, uh, uh, this is when it can be the good time in that fish are kind of everywhere. Uh, I don't know that it's the, at the last, but we're getting into it. Like I said, we got a cold front coming through. We're gonna have temperatures below freezing here tomorrow night uh, and tonight after this front passes through. So, uh, again, fishing, getting while the getting's good is what's going on here, uh, but, we're gonna transition into this more and more. So uh, we'll get more and more into this good fishing. So uh, again, that one deep on the bottom, you know, we're in muddy water. Uh, we got a little bit going against us here with the wind. I don't like the direction of it, just because it makes anchoring up kind of a pain, but I got a never lost anchor out uh, with some chain. It's stuck. Uh, it's just a matter of uh, cutting down on some of the uh, the sway and the lines and everything because of the, the the water going this way wind going this way it's aggravating more than anything it doesn't hinder you from catching fish it hinders you mentally from committing to uh fishing hard so i'm overcoming that i've got two fish in the boat i'm happy Let's see if we can stick some more made a little move try something a little different move to goose country you can hear the geese behind me going nuts uh came up here in a uh, river arm and uh, i'm anchored up a little bit of current up here it's flowing pretty good six rods out again a couple of them on the bottom a couple of them on sand tea rig suspended just trying something uh up here in this little narrow area seeing if there's any uh shad running um making their move up or any white perch so gonna give it a while up here and as i say that i'm getting bit on a rod right behind me uh one of the uh, carolina rigs that is on the bottom nothing but shad out um i was saying earlier i had some shad left over i had a couple of guide trips and had some shad left over and uh i haven't tried chicken side by side with it recently um had a couple days where shad was doing pretty dang good, so I decided to keep on using the uh, shad. Uh, I may be trying it here in the next couple of days now that the bite's getting pretty decent. After we get past this cold snap, and like I said, we're gonna have a cold snap for uh, a couple of days tomorrow morning. It's gonna be back down in the 20s. Uh, I've got 20s and 30s for lows, so it's gonna be bad for a couple of days. And uh, then, we should get back to some seasonal temperatures. I'm gonna try some of the chicken again, uh, side by side, just see how it does out here. Uh, for now, it's just shad. We're gonna see if we can get a bit. Well, folks, sometimes you get to pick and choose when you fish, and I chose to come out in this. Uh, one thing for sure, I got the whole lake to myself. There's nobody else out here. Uh, this hopefully will blow through here in a few. 
and uh, taper off the sprinkles. Just a heavy downpour here for a few minutes. The fish are already wet. All right, guys, got one going on the PC Fun rod. Boom! A PC Fun reel, I should say. PC Fun reel. Ripping lips. Super cat rod. That's some 30 pound guitar string. Andy monofilament. It's a decent fish. Decent fish. That's PC Fun Viper X reel. Been set up here for about 20 minutes. I've had one hitting uh, that I pointed out earlier. I was getting bit on over there. I don't think this is a monster. I think it's a decent fish. We got some current here. So he's getting some getting some play. There we go. Yeah. I don't even think he's a teener. I'm just not used to being in any current. You know what? Catching's catching. The thing I love about spinning reels is the leverage you get with these rods. Look at that. It's a lot of leverage. That's a pretty good current. More than I thought. More than I thought. This would be really fun with about a 40 pound fish. <laughs> Good action in this rod. I like this. This is the first time I put any real pull on it. There he is. Got out of the wind a little bit too up here for now. We got another front coming through. Does he break the teen mark? Barely 13 pounds. Nice blue. Getting healthy. Eating that shad, baby. Let's get that one back alive. Well, guys, that's three fish in the boat. Uh, getting ready to get poured on. You know, we had that little bit of rain come through. There's a line that's coming that's getting thick and heavy. The good news is it doesn't look like it's going to rain long. The only thing is the, the sail is swelling. So we may get dumped on with some rain here. But then there's a break, and then there's more. So I'm going to try gutting it out up here. Uh, this is that time when going up in these rivers, going up in these creeks, going shallow, it can pay off. Uh, early on in the spring, you kind of have to do some hunting, do some prospecting. You may be there too early. It all depends when the fish show up. Fish show up when everything's right for them, whether it be water temperature or shad or skipjack, whatever your bait fish is that's in that area that's moving in there. So I'm just taking a little gamble uh, up here. Put one in the boat. That's cool. Um, give it a little while here. And... Uh, I typically don't sit a long, long time if I'm not getting bit. Uh, generally, you're either on them or you're not. And uh, they're, they're not up here and established. Now, a month from now, when fish are stacked up in here and all through here, I can see parking and trophy hunting. But uh, for now, I'll probably give this a little bit, make a little move, maybe four or 500 yards, try another place, and uh, see what happens. Boom, there we go guys. It's gonna be some wet video. You're gonna have some water droplets on the viewfinder. Oh, I just made a move in between rain sails and it just started pouring. I love it. If I'm gonna fish in the rain, I'm gonna catch them in the rain, that's for sure. Oh, Channel Cat, this is one of the uh, Carolina rigs. These PC Fun reels, I've got them on the bottom. Big Cat Fever rods, medium action. Good old channel. Good fish. Mm. 
Jones. Jones. Yo, fat channel camp. Ow, 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 ow. Little muddy belly. Eating the big baits. Eating. Chewing on it, baby. Chewing on it. Channel cat. They're not. It's female. Little mouth. You'll be able to tell the males here soon. It'll be getting real dark coloration. They'll have a wider mouth. Little nodules right here on their head start to swell up when the spawn's going on. Everything's pre-spawn right now. Get them back in the water. We got some about 60 degrees up here. So fish are active, fish are moving. It's a good time to fish. A beautiful day to fish in my opinion. I love being out here in this weather. Got the lake to yourself. Don't have to worry about pleasure boats. Don't have to worry about jet skis. You don't have to worry about anybody parking in your spot. You just get to fish. You just gotta put a little effort into staying dry. Yeah guys, I hadn't been parked in this spot in about five minutes. Uh, just got my baits out, was checking my time, seeing how long I've been here, and boom, got that one. So, uh, not a monster, but I'm getting bit. That's a good thing. Uh, just made a little move. I checked out another deep hole. I didn't mark any fish in it. I'm gonna be honest with you, this time of the year, uh, it's tough for me to fish blind unless I'm fishing like brush and structure right up on the bank trying to catch a flathead or something. Uh, if I'm fishing around any of these deeper holes, I like to see fishing on this time of the year. And I rode past a couple of places. Came down here, uh, there's a few fish on the edge of this one. Decided to uh, put some baits in, got one in. So it's a matter now, just enter some bigger ones. Same rod put in the same place. About 30 minutes later. I was just getting ready to reel stuff in to move. I've been here about 40 minutes and this is only the second bite. Oh, he's wrapped, he ain't big. He's wrapped though. Dragging him in backwards. Get him unwrapped here. There we go. He's gonna pop loose and go nuts now. Ah, what I tell you? He knows he's hooked now. See if I can lift this one in. This may pop him off. Let's see if we get that shake out. Get that shake out. Get that shake out. Come on. Get that shake out. There we go. Nice he's hooked. Come here, fella. Hey, hey, Sam. We're all friends. We're all friends. We are all friends here. Looks like you've had a hook in your mouth on a trot line or a limb line before. Emma. Emma. Get you turned upside down here. I can get a hold of you. Hey, see. Hey, see. That's a male. Tell me that big old wide mouth. Looks like he might have had a trot line hook in there or might have been a place where there was a hook in his mouth that broke off and that came off but good fish about 10 11 pounds oh. hoping we'd get on more of these but just hadn't happened up here i'm gonna make a move um i think i'm gonna make a move i've been here about 40 minutes and uh this bite it's not really, really crazy, crazy, but it's two fish in an hour. I mean, it's it's about what our average bite is right now. So um, I'm gonna try another spot. We got a little gap in the rain. It's gonna start pouring here, hour, hour and a half. And uh, I'd like to go fish that, because after that it's gonna be miserable getting around. And there could be some lightning with this. You're talking lightning and that line can develop into something kind of bad afternoon in the afternoon. I really don't want to be out here when that happens. So let's see if we can try one more spot. That one's got something swimming off with it. You don't take it. You don't take it. Now I just had one go screaming over that rod and uh, came flying back, which is 
usually a sign of a gar bite. Sometimes it can be a catfish, it just didn't get hooked up. I'm gonna check the bait on it here in a second. And then this rod went off, so getting bit. That's a good fish. It's a good fish. Angry. Good. So want to stay down. There he comes up to the top. Not the bug will grip him. Like a teener class fish, we'll take it. Bigger than I thought. Might should have netted this one. Semi. Semi. Some, 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 some. Semi down. Semi down. Come here. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Stop. There you go. There you go. I got a bath doing that. Hit hook deep too. You know what? That fish is gonna get to keep that one. He's hooked way too deep. That's hooked deep. About eight pounds. One of them days. <laughs> That's a good fish. Good fish. Easy. Easy. Nice fish. <laughs> Pretty fish. All right, guys, that's a nice one. Uh, it's fish number six. Um, you know, it's uh, not on fire as far as the bite goes, but it's not bad, bad either. It's, uh, you know, we've had, it's a little slower than I've had the past few days, but the, uh, Weather's changing too, totally different. We've had bluebird skies, uh, front of just come through, uh, you know, it's, it's totally different conditions. Who knows what's going on? Stuff going on with the water rising, falling, all of that plays a part. And you just have to fish, you just have to cover water. That's what we did today. Hit several different spots, gave them a good soak, a good look, and uh, been able to pick off a few fish along the way. So, uh, all in all, happy with what I've got. I can't complain. Sometimes we take it for granted out here fishing, especially when you get to uh, fish a lot. Like me, I'm blessed. I get to be out here a lot. And, you know, you get three fish in the teens and we're going, man, why, you know, you really want 20s and 30s. But the truth is, that's great fishing. It's great fish. And, uh, you know, I have to be mindful that a lot of people uh, in the country have never caught fish that big. I get people on guide trips all the time that, you know, the past several days, the, the first 12, 13 pound fish we put in the boat were the biggest fish they've ever caught. So uh, it's good fishing. I'm blessed to get it and uh, happy to catch them. And listen, I ain't complaining. Yeah, I always want bigger ones, but uh, to catch those kind of fish and have a reasonable chance of catching them, that's, that's, that's good fishing in a good fishery. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. Easy, easy baby, easy mama, decent fish guys, can't tell if it's a netter or not, we got a little bit of current in here, 30 pound Andy line, PC fun, chaos reel, big cat fever rod. I think he's boga grippable. Uh oh, coming right to the boat. <laughs> there he goes. Alright guys, if you wonder why I kicked the boat, he was coming straight at the boat. I didn't want him to go under it. A lot of times if you kick that boat, they'll turn and go away from it. It just makes less of a mess dealing with them underneath the boat especially if they go that way and you have to go to that side under anchors and everything oh dang strong strong 
to keep him clear underneath everything, let him calm down a little bit. There he is. Let's see if we can get him. Get him at the boga. Simmer, simmer, simmer. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. You full of love, ain't you? You full of love. Male blue. Make sure you ain't got my leader down your mouth, nope. Same area. Dang. Simmer, simmer, simmer. Simmer. Get all the sun down here. About 14 pounds. Got some marks on him already. Starting to get a little activity going on there. Probably been in a net a couple of times too. Get the fish though. I had to get that one. Get him back alive. Got one nibbling here. Got a nibbler. I don't think it's gonna take it. They don't always take it. Got that rod getting hit over here. See if that one folds. I have to give it a second here. That one's still getting bopped. That one looks like it has a little love going on. Yep. Maybe some small fish. I hope there's not some small fish moving in. That could happen. Yeah, that last fish was a nice one, a male. Beat up pretty, pretty deep. I mean, he's got a little bit of stuff on him. He's not crazy crazy. That one's still getting neat on. That one's still getting neat on. But yeah, they're kind of scattered through here. Got a little more productive bite here later in the day. It's kind of picked up a little bit. So, but I got the rain coming. That's the, I uh, just looked at the radar and uh, it's uh, just west of here, so I'm gonna have to pull out of here. Man, I wish that fish would eat it so he could make the video. Wish that one would eat it too. Wish one of them would eat. You could get one last fish on camera and call it a day. Sadly, if I wanna stay dry and avoid the lightning, I'm gonna have to pull the plug and call it a day now. Appreciate you guys watching. We'll catch you out on the water in a future video. Well, folks, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Here are a couple more videos that I think you're going to like. I'd watch that one and then that one. No, no do, do that one first and then that one. I, I don't know. Just watch them both. They're both good.